This olive oil is absolutely amazing. Anyways, Yul Kut here, coming back at you with another exciting video, talking about Gaia Oliva. This is an extra virgin premium olive oil. I have to say, something that distinguishes good olive oil from not so good olive oil is that oak kind of woodsy kind of pepperiness that you get with good olive oil, good fresh olive oil. Olive oil should taste like olive oil. Like try the premium stuff at least once in your life to know how the other half lives basically. But here's a little bit about the company here. As you can see, I'll hold that out for you. Try our award-winning products. There you go. There's some different types of things that they make. And again, this, this is not olive oil that you cook with. This is olive oil that you use like on a dressing or as a finisher if you're making like a garnish in my case. Today what I made was a little bit of a garnish or a dressing or a relish or whatever the technical term is for some roasted lamb on the barbecue. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But what's in there is some red onion, there's garlic, there's mint, there's oregano, and then there's a little bit of vinegar, red wine vinegar, about a tablespoon of vinegar. And then what I did was I put in about like a half a teaspoon or so of this beautiful extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna show you all again with the other half of the teaspoon. Usually that's about the ratio that I do, especially with this kind of dressing, because it's all about the punch. You're trying to get the olive oil to shine, the flavors, and you don't wanna overpower it with just oil. Like I know a lot of Argentinian chimichurris, they just drown their sauces in olive oil. That's not what you want here. This is like the Italian traditional barbecue roasted. You can put this on chicken, fish, meat, in today's case, lamb, you could put this on pork. But the star of the show here really is the Gaia Oliva, this extra virgin olive oil. This is how it comes. This kind of reminds me of like the Aperol caps, right? Where you can just pour slowly, where there's no, I'm gonna show you all here right now. Very slow drizzle just in there. And I'm putting in about, I'd say about a quarter of a, of a teaspoon, maybe even like an eighth of a teaspoon. That's all you, that's what I added to what was already in there. So total, there's about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. But this stuff is amazing. Let me just taste it one more time, just as it is, to kind of um, mm, get a little bit more in there. Let's see. Come on, baby. There you go. Mmm. Yeah. So what I'm getting is pepperiness, right? Like very slight, subtle pepperiness of what olive oil should be. What I'm getting is like a toasted oak barrel kind of a vibe to it. Definitely tasting olives and like green mature olives and their seeds. That's what I'm picking up. This floral punch, a little bit of that pepperiness, right? Floral in the sense of like, it's got a bouquet. It's got nose. You can, sm I wish there was smell of vision so, so you can actually smell this. But the, the taste is just for being olive oil. It's absolutely exceptional. Like I said before, this isn't something you want to fry with. <laughs> this is something that you use as a finisher. Just think like you're going to bring something to the to the table after it's been cooked and you want to drizzle some olive oil on top. This would be a great choice. Lentils, like Italian lentils or Italian pasta fagioli, where you want to just cover it with a little bit of, like just drizzle it. Sorry, wrong choice of words. You want to drizzle it with some olive oil at the very end. The precision that the pouring spout gives you very precise so you can kind of you know gauge and judge there's no like technically there's no over pouring or over you know saturating your food with it but once you get it into whatever you need to get it into salad dressing a salad put it over some lentils put it over some roasted lamb which is which is what i'm going to be doing here in a little while you kind of get an idea there of what's going on and i wish oh i wish there was smell of vision so you could smell how beautiful this is you can see the red onion, you can see the garlic in there, you can see the mint in there. There's a little bit of dried Italian oregano in there as well. That red wine vinegar is kind of working its magic in there as well. And see, there's there's just enough oil to kind of give you like those oily spots where the oil, the oil is like a train, right? It delivers the flavors from the food to your palate. That's the best way, like fat is flavor. Oil is this beautiful, majestic, way of delivering the flavor from the food to your palate and it just oh it's unbelievable anyways if you want to know more about this company there is a you know the purchase thank you for purchasing this from amazon you kind of get the idea their website good all that good stuff there's more about the company that themselves and all the good stuff but gaia i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly jaya gaia i think it's how you pronounce it Early Harvest Extra Virgin Olive Oil Premium. You kind of get the idea there, 16.9 fluid ounces. 
There's the bottle itself. Very easy to open, very easy to use. I will put a link to this down below in the description. Make sure to check that out. Maybe some of these other products will be down there too on my Amazon storefront. Make sure to check all that out. Check all that out in the description section, the comment section. I'm the old coot, and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.